Good evening, folks, and welcome to The Horror Corner. I'm your host, Sean Patrick Urshan, and this week we are doing another movie review of The Meg. Just saw it with my wife today. Uh, we didn't have anything to do because it was pouring rain outside, and we figured we still had the day off. Let's have some fun. Let's go see a movie. Uh, so we decided to see The Meg because there's been a lot of hype about that and uh, the novel by uh, Stephen Alton uh, was very popular and adapted finally to the big screen. It actually originally came out in the 90s, but they finally came out with a movie based on the novel. It had been in development hell for a long time. Um, but here it is. We finally have it in the theater. Uh, it stars Jason Statham uh, as Jonas Taylor. It stars uh, Rain Wilson as Jack Morris. Uh, Lee Bingbing as Sui Yin Zhang. And uh, Ruby Rose as Jax. Uh, so the film begins with Jonas Taylor uh, in a submarine uh, with a group of underwater scientists. And uh, he goes on a rescue mission because their, uh, their submarine has been attacked by some kind of giant creature smashing it to smithereens. And he, uh, he does his best to save everyone uh, aboard. Uh, but he has to leave a couple behind, unfortunately, because they're stuck. And if he went to try and rescue them he put everyone in jeopardy, so he has to leave a couple behind, so he saves whoever he can. Uh, and uh, he has a real t hard time with that, because a couple of them he had to leave behind, and they died, you know. Uh, so, and that drives him to drink, and then uh, he just goes into seclusion, and uh, drowns himself in alcohol, and that's the last we see of him for a while. Uh, so we we return to uh, a huge underwater research facility called Mana One. Uh, and it's funny, it kind of reminds me of uh, <laughs> almost like the Starship Enterprise with its real high-tech facility. You know? um, that's where the sci-fi elements come in. You know, This is definitely kind of a, a sci-fi horror film. And uh, that's what makes it a little different than Jaws, per se, you know. I mean, so many shark movies have been made, you know. Ever since Jaws came out, every shark movie that comes out is compared to Jaws uh, from way back in 1975. Um, but I feel that this is a really good one. I really had a great, great time with it. Me and my wife both really enjoyed it. Uh, it's got some great tension. It's got some good scares in there. And it's just like an adrenaline rush uh, thrill ride, you know, that I think anybody could have fun with it. Bring your family along, you know, it's not that intense, you know, where it's uh, kids can't see. I'd say any kid from, like, teenager from, like, 13 to an adult would really enjoy it, you know. Have a fun, fun time at the movies, grab your big tub of popcorn and have a great time. And, uh... And I have to say, I think Jason Statham is fantastic. I think he's such a good actor and that he's been doing this so long, this action stuff, um, that I feel like he deserves to be a much bigger star than he actually is, you know? I feel guys, you got guys like The Rock, who's like the biggest star in the world, and he can't act his way out of a paper bag. I think Jason Statham is a bona fide badass action star who can actually act, you know? as well as kick serious ass. I, I, I believe in him. I believe in Jason Statham. Uh, so it's time for him to become a much bigger star than he actually is. And I'm glad to see him in this big budget role, you know, and he's the star, you know, and he does a great job. I really enjoy his character. And uh, I think he just does an awesome job. He's got a little romance going on with the uh, <laughs> Su Yin character there. Uh, so again, uh, going back to the plot, you know, uh, there's that underground research facility called the Mana One, and uh, we meet Su Yin, and uh, who's an oceanographer, along with her father, uh, Doctor Zhang, who is uh, runs the facility, and it, 
the facility is financed by uh, Jack Morris, who's played by Rain Wilson. You guys know him, I'm sure, from The Office. And uh, he kind of reminds me a little of the character in The Office. He is kind of goofy a little bit. Um, so he kind of oversees what's going on. He wants to see what all his money is <laughs> going into. But the plan is to go real, real to a deep... Um, corner of the ocean that's uh, that has never been explored before and they want to find out um, what kind of things they could find you know um, because no one has done that before and they've they, they have this uh, this mini submarine that can go real deep into the surface of the ocean um, but what happens is uh, they end up getting attacked by this giant, some kind of giant creature uh, in the in, at the bottom of the ocean, uh, just like we saw at the beginning of the film. Uh, that smashed the other submarine into bits, and that's what's happening to this other one. Uh, and, and they're trapped in the mini submarine, and they've lost contact with the main facility. Um, so the other scientists uh, call upon Jonas Taylor, of course, uh, and to help them, to help rescue them because he's a rescue diver. And uh, obviously he had similar experience previously. And he, so he's the only man that can do it. <laughs> Their life is in his hands. The hero, Jonas Taylor. <laughs> uh, and of course there's that uh, convenient plot device. Uh, the fact that his ex-wife is aboard the mini-sub. She is one of the oceanographers. <laughs> uh, so yeah, convenient plot device there. It's kind of cliche a little. There are a few cliches in the film, I, I have to say, but um, I have to say these special effects are absolutely awesome, though. That's what r really sets it apart from those other cheesy-ass shark movies that we see, in, like Sharknado, come on, <laughs> that's a joke. Um, and those cheesy Megalodon movies, and, and that's what this is, this shark is actually a mega, a prehistoric megalodon, a prehistoric shark that's 75 feet long. <laughs> and it's just terrifying. And, and uh, there's some real thrills in this film with this shark. It's uh, the, the effects are amazing. It's got some good jump scares in it. Uh, and it's, it's so thrilling to see Jason Statham go at it like one-on-one -on -one with this gigantic shark. He's taking it on himself. Uh, and you believe it, you buy it, you buy into it, and it really sucks you in, you know. Uh, so I think it's just a fantastic film. It's a lot of fun, and it's uh, it's not cheesy like you would expect it to be, like a little cheesy kind of one of those campy creature features. But it never reaches the point of camp. Uh, it 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 is taken seriously. The work is taken seriously, and we take it seriously. Uh, and you have excellent special effects to back it up to. It's not cheesy, campy uh, special effects, so they're actually really good, really well done. And this just feels like a huge movie. I don't know if it's because of the fact that we saw it at the IMAX theater. Maybe I'm, uh, maybe I'm giving it too much uh, credit, but I just really enjoyed it. So definitely, guys, check out the Meg. Uh, check out Jason Statham being a real badass once again. and uh, So it's based on the novel by Steve Alton, directed by John Turtletaub, and starring Jason Statham, um, Rain Wilson, and Ruby Rose. Uh, so such a fun, fun time at the movies. A fun summer blockbuster, and I think it's going to be a big hit. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me, Sean Patrick Urshan, in the Horror Corner. Tune in and stay scared.